All right, Nikita Krylov, Krylov. I called him Krylov for like 10 years, but I think it's Krylov versus Alexander Gustafsson. Gustafsson, I don't know, whatever. I uh, I don't really have a prediction for this fight or a bet, but if I had a gun to my head, I'd be I'd bet on Gustafsson because it's plus 165, and I know he, as a fighter, in his prime, which he's no longer in, but he was better than Nikita Krylov ever was. Krylov is one of those guys where I still don't know if he's a striker or a grappler first, but he's really proficient in both areas, although he's still susceptible to being submitted. I think the next time he loses will be, well, a decision, I guess, but uh, sub the next time he's finished will be a submission, no doubt about that. And this fight, it was a lot easier to predict some years ago, but now, you know, if I had to give you a prediction, I'd go Krylov. I'd go Krylov. I think he would, you know, win just because I, I don't trust Gustafsson these days. I think Gustafsson can look good and will look good in round one. But if he, if this fight goes to round three, I don't see him looking great. I see Krylov being the fresher fighter. Krylov being the guy with more fighting spirit at this point, plain and simple. So uh, my prediction, Krylov wins via decision. And that's rare for him because he's a bona fide finisher. Or maybe Krylov via submission. But my bet... I got Alexander Gustafsson at plus 165. I figure if he shows up, he's going to win this fight. So I threw that in a few parlays, some Hail Marys.